So welcome to the Catch Can Alaska News Store channel and this is my update for the evening here. Things do change somewhat fast regarding this uh, pandemic. Um, we did have our second case confirmed and that is in Catch Can today and that was con uh, the spouse of the person that um, was announced yesterday, borough employee. Um, so the wife, she's a doctor I believe. Anyway. Um, the borough or the EOC is putting out press releases, you know, usually in the evening. So I'm trying to update you from that. Um, you know, they are still the same testing protocols, so forth, so on. Uh, a lot of anxiety around the airport. They haven't changed anything there except that they're reassuring everybody that they're cleaning the airport and, you know, the gift shop and the cafeteria are shut down. Um, the hospitals reassuring us they have plenty of uh, emergency supplies um, so forth vulnerable population is really addressed in this and you know before we get all hair on fire about how the community is responding which I have to admit I've been there a few times myself uh, just knowing the virulence of this particular um, uh, virus we need to be vigilant and they shut down any visitation to the hospital, thank God, and to the Pioneer Home. So if you have family there, just realize you're not going to go there. Please try not to go there if you can. Um, they also address um, kind of, you know, the vulnerable population. The, the, the landing is offered, um, you know, some rooms there which is great I think even the Salmon Falls is mentioned in here as possibly a emergency um, bed location for isolating people so those businesses are really stepping up to the the plate here that's great um, and then uh, they've even looked at maybe using the um, residential youth care facility which is going to get updated some things like that. There's a lot of information in this press release. If you're really a nerd, you really want to dig through it, go at it. It's great. I'll put the link in here. It's on the borough page. But I, I do want to tip my hat to the EOC. I've been a little skeptical. Um, there hasn't been a lot of uh, aggressive actions here. And what they've found in other parts of the world is if you're not aggressive, if you're lax, uh, you're going to get overwhelmed and I still think we have some things we could tighten up um, I just think this idea that you're only going to find people that are having symptoms that is a problem and I'm going to reiterate what I said in the morning video that in the studies in China they found 80% of the transmission was happening in asymptomatic carriers so we just have to assume that everyone is um, potentially in, in, in infected so uh, I know it sounds crazy but if you can do that stay isolated stay to yourself um, nobody's gonna hate you if you don't let don't go out <laughs> so um, anyway thanks to those people that are stacking up there's even stuff in here in financial impacts um, go read it uh, and then uh, stay informed and that's gonna help and no people are out there with your best interest in mind. I do think we need some more aggressive shutdown. And, um, and I think we need off-site um, screening um, so that people aren't going to the clinics to get screened. So anyway, that's the update. Send me some questions if you have any. I'll submit it to the EOC and see if we can get some answers or reduce some of your questions. Hey. Why haven't we done X, Y, or Z? So, all right, thanks for watching.